All right. And three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. How's everybody doing? Well, it's just after Easter holidays, and my God, I'm an Irish man, and did I fucking drink? I drunk, 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 drunk. What a great weekend. Oh, my God. I tell you guys, isn't it so good when you have such a, a fantastic weekend with the boys? And Oh, man. So needed. It was only four days. It was only four days, even though I, uh, yeah, drunk the hell out of it. And it was my birthday as well, so why not combine both? Weird weekend for it to fall, though. The Easter weekend, my birthday, April 10, by the way, everybody. And guys, you know, I'm still waiting for my money in the post. Like I was saying it on social media, look, there's no need for cards, there's no need for anything. Just money transfer is best. All right, look, I'll be generous. I'll go for a check in the post, even though I <laughs> I don't even know what a fucking check is anymore at this stage. It's been so long. Fuck it, it feels like a dinosaur thing, doesn't it? In fact, do they still exist? Checks? Huh. Must check, though. I presume they do, right? Anyway, guys, do you know what, actually, on that note? Forget about the check. Just send money. Wire, Revolut, fucking straight to my bank account. I'm a nice guy, all right? I'll do with just sending the money to my account, okay? So anyway, guys, let's move on. Um, right, so, how to spot a scammer, part two. And, oh, guys, I tell you, this is, this is nuts. I started this because, you know why? I'm going to give a, a big shout-out to CoffeeZilla. And anybody, if you've not seen CoffeeZilla, I'm not trying to take credit here for my wonderful task mission here of spotting every fucking scammer in the world. Jesus Christ, no. Because I actually got the idea from CoffeeZilla. Now, CoffeeZilla is just reporting scams like crypto scams and, you know, bankers and things like that, you know? And he's doing a really good job, and I think it's wonderful, like, and people appreciate him. They love him to, you know, he, they're, he's looking out for people, and I think it's a really nice thing to do for people. So I actually said, well, fuck, hold on a sec. I must be do I must do this for the for the dating apps because I think most of us know here that if you're single and, you know, I'm about to make people that are in relationships or married feel a lot better because we've all been scammed to a degree on a dating app in terms of, you know, you're talking to somebody, then all of a sudden they don't want to FaceTime you. They don't want to go on Zoom with you as a video phone call. Like, give me a break. You know, and in fairness, and I, my heart goes out because, hey, I've been in this situation before where I'd be talking to a girl on WhatsApp uh, or, let's say, Tinder, Bumble or whatever. And then all of a sudden, you're quite excited, right? You're like, oh, you know, she's gorgeous and we get on well. Holy fuck, you know. And all of a sudden, they don't want to FaceTime you. Now, what do you make of that? And let's get real. Who doesn't want to do it these days? And guys, if there's anybody out there, please listen to the part one I've done all on this already. Uh, how to spot a scammer on dating apps. This is part two, right? And the only reason I'm actually doing part two is because thanks to you guys out there, I'm posting this on social media. I'm up to actually, fuck me, hang on, give me a second now. Just got to go back here. Um, just checking out my TikTok here now. I'm up to how to spot a scam part 18. <laughs> Fucking 18, guys and girls. Jesus Christ. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Part 18. I thought I'd get to maybe like four or five or something. Not 18. Mad stuff. Mad stuff. But I'm delighted, guys, that we're doing this because you guys are chipping in as well. But so back to just CoffeeZilla. Check him out, guys, on YouTube. He's got millions of followers. He's absolutely brilliant. Um, I recommend checking him out, even just for entertaining, because he's he's a good, funny lad. Like, um, so that's CoffeeZilla, all one word, I believe. But he should pop up on YouTube anyway. Um, and guys, seriously, big shout out to any of you that have uh, that have commented on any of my social medias on TikTok or Facebook, uh, YouTube. Instagram or LinkedIn on on these scams because the more information we can gather here the better Let's 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 fucking smoke these bastards out and I'm 
I'm kind of embarrassed to say it's mostly guys that are doing it. Like I get, you know, there can be asshole men out there, there can be asshole women, but the asshole women, they just look for a bit of attention most of the time. And yes, there's some hookers and stuff like that on dating apps, but most of us guys can spot them a mile off. It's actually the ones that go with the the heartfelt one. And in fact, here we're going to start in with number six on the list today, guys. Okay, we're going to go up to uh, what are we going to go up to? We're going to go up to eighteen today. So, number six on the list. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is probably really a shout out to the ladies out there. Um, this poor lady. She met a guy online. He was in the army. And apparently he was an American soldier in NATO, believe it or not. And he needed to be bought out of the army. (laughs) Like, who buys a guy out of the army? Really? Like, oh, I know, look, I'm not taking any, making any fun of the the lady got, got duped. Because look, we can all get into a vulnerable state in our lives and... You know, we just get into a desperate state and all of a sudden you want to believe that the person's telling you the truth. And God only knows, this guy could be an incredible sweet talker, you know? And she just took a risk one day, said, in fact, she probably was even saying to herself, you know what, I don't believe this, but I'm hoping it's true and fuck it, I'll send some money. So this guy had to be bought out of the army and he wanted to see her. And she got scammed out of money. She got scammed out of five grand. Oh, God. Mm. That's horrendous, guys. That's horrendous. And besides that, you know, guys, if, if, you, if you do get caught into one of these, these, um, these fuckers here that try and scam you, firstly, you don't get bought out of the army. Okay? You don't. You can't just contact the fucking White House here and say, Hey, lads, can you let this fella go? Uh, really? I don't think so. Not a hope in hell. Like, kidding me? And secondly, (laughs) how much would it be to actually get a guy out of the army? Like, if that was possible. Like, you're probably talking hundreds of thousands of euros or dollars or whatever that is. You know, I can't imagine it's going to be like five grand Not a fucking hope. And where did they get this fucking scam? Because I'll give the scammers one thing. If he's using this scam, it clearly works. Now, I've got to admit, guys, right? I've only started doing this spot the scammer, uh, what is it, about a week ago now? Week and a half ago? And I never heard of this scam. Now, all right, I'm a guy, so... But, you know, (laughs) and maybe people don't broadcast it around the place. And I'm obviously not going to mention this lady's name, excuse me, or her username. But, you know, well done to her for actually admitting it to, because, look, uh, she probably feels like such a fool. Um, Anyway, fucking NATO troop. Give me a break. Oh, God. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Part seven. So, this one, I did put up a post originally that there's this could be 50-50. Now, so, when you're talking to somebody on a dating app, now, this is a very interesting one, okay? Because you're going you to probably think I'm a hypocrite on this one. Now, I'm going to tell you the difference of why these are different of both of my answers. And hear me out, guys. So, firstly, this... Uh, I'm just double checking now. Was this a lady or a guy? Do, do, do. That's some people say. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. No, this is just a generic one, neutral one. This can happen to both men and women. So when they ask you to be added on Instagram. Now, not everybody's a scammer on Instagram. And I think anybody that it's on Instagram, we know this. All right. And there's some people out there, guys and girls, that... They'll just want you to add them on Instagram because they, w- they want the followers. So remember that, please. Think about this. If you're on a dating app already and they come out within the first three or four sentences 
or within the fucking first three or four minutes, whatever it is. And they're asking you, oh, hey, let's chat on Instagram. Well, aren't you chatting already? So enough of that bollocks, guys, right? You'll smoke them out event. You'll smoke these people out pretty quick, which is the good, which is the advantage of this scam. Right. So what happens is, and I'm getting from the reports from people, is that they'll be asked to add the personal Instagram and then all of a sudden they'll come out with their NATO soldier fucking, oh, my wife is dead and I need some money to pay for my daughter's hospital bill. All these type of, right, you know, poor heartfelt scenarios, guys. Okay. Now, by the way, I'm not taking anything away because people can have six children. Touch wood, God love them. It doesn't happen much. Uh, and their wife or husband dies. Of course, this stuff happens. But it's always the same fucking story. Right. And why are you going to ask a woman for money? Because this, most of the people that run the scam are the guys. Why are you going to ask a woman for money? And anyway, what, why aren't you asking your relatives first? Firstly. Ask your relatives. I'm sure you got a brother, sister, uncle, aunt, father, mother out there. Someone you know, best friend out there. You could ask them. So please, guys, it's too risky. And do you know what? I'll give it a 1% chance that it could be true. And they're so fucking desperate to get the hospital covered. They'll just ask anyone. But I'm sorry, guys. You just can't take the risk. Don't take the risk of getting scammed on this. You don't know them. You've only seen a couple of fucking photos on Tinder or Bumble or wherever it is. You can't trust it. So don't fall for that one. Now, okay, so we've covered that part, right? Add me on Instagram. So then you got the, the NATO troop scam on there, or the the wife is dead, or the, the, poor, the, the daughter is sick in hospital, all right? Then you've got the other... And this wouldn't really necessarily be a scam, but it's just misleading assholes. And they just want to build a following on Instagram. When people ask you, add me on Instagram, add me on Instagram. Right? Now, guys, I would say one thing. And this is a 50-50, right? If you see somebody's profile on Tinder or Bumble, and you have not, and repeat, you have not matched with them yet and they have on their profile add me on instagram now i've always actually said i wouldn't trust it because they're looking probably looking for just a bunch of followers here's what i would do now i brought this up quite a few times and in fairness guys i'll always admit if i'm wrong or if if maybe i'm wrong in this situation because i don't know is that sometimes because the algorithm is so fucked these days on, on Tinder or Bumble that it's hard to get matches, that you're hoping that if you put your Instagram into your bio that they'll actually look you up and then you can start talking there. Now, fair enough. I understand that. Very understand that. So I'm a man that can admit if I'm wrong and if I'm wrong about that, great. So what I would do on that situation, guys, is okay, Take a screenshot, remember their username on Instagram. Look them up before you swipe right, if you are interested in them. See, you know, see what's going on. Friend request them or, you know, do whatever. Or just add them itself and then send them a message. Then see if you match with them. Chances are you probably won't these days, right? But at least you're going, you're going straight to their Instagram and seeing what's going on. Now look. If it's a NATO thing, it's American soldier, whatever it is, you're going to find out really quick anyway because these guys don't fuck around. They're, they're looking for your money straight off the bat. So you'll find out really fast. So don't worry about that. And they can't access your bank information through Instagram. Secondly, if they're just looking for followers, well, you know, the chances are if they've got thousands and thousands of followers and it's a public profile and they're half naked, this or that or whatever the fuck, right? You've probably a very, very good idea that they're just looking for followers. Here's one thing I would have a question mark that maybe it's not a scam or a follow they're looking for followers, that if their account is private and they don't have many followers, then I'd be more inclined to say, huh, 
Okay. So, because the giveaway would be if their profile was public because they just want everybody to follow them. Like guys, I'm on dating apps and I don't have my Instagram connected to to, uh, to Tinder or Bumble. Now, maybe I actually should because, <laughs> because maybe, you know, some girl could look me up and if I like her, well, she can find me on Instagram instead. But uh, it's, it's so tough, this one. It's just so tough. Uh, so if you do get caught in this scenario, guys, hey, add me on Instagram or Instagram user. I would say to you, go for it. Let's see what they do on Instagram. If they follow you back, start talking to you. But I would definitely follow them, follow back or follow them on Instagram and send them a message and see what happens. But obviously, swipe right to and see what they say. So I hope that helps, guys. But at least, look, at least there's th two, two and a half, three type of different scenarios on there. Okay, let's move on. Number eight on the list Google chat this motherfucker there's quite a few people definitely getting stung on Google chat people are asking for oh, the usual NATO soldiers they're asking for you know the 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 the, the wife is dead the the child is sick in hospital now, if I would say to you guys, here's what I would do. I would say to you, why don't they just go to WhatsApp? Most people on the planet use WhatsApp, except for quite a few Americans actually, but they don't. But you could talk to them on Facebook Messenger, right? Or somewhere else. But Google Chat, oh, sorry, uh, Google Chat Hangouts. Google Chat is just a, it's a nightmare, but if you're chatting to them on a dating app, guys, ask them for WhatsApp first. Okay? Ask them for WhatsApp. That's what I would suggest. Because Google, Google Chat is a scam haven. I'm hearing such bad stories about this. And you'll see them in my comments too, guys. But ugh, it, it, it is mainly the, the, the wife is dead, the sick daughter, or the NATO soldiers. Fucking hell. Okay, part nine, here we go. This lady, oh, here, where do we start with this one? So, uh, we're gonna start from the start on this one. So, part nine, a lady got scammed out of 2,000 euros to invest in a crypto scheme. I don't think every crypto business in the world is a scam. I just think they've got a bad name from so many scams trying to trying to screw people. Yeah, uh, yeah, and people say in the comments, "Who the hell would fall for that?" Or if you want to give them money, then think of it as a gift that you're unlikely to get back. Or just don't give them money for a crypto scheme. And who would fall for that? Well, hey, you never know, because, well. I've actually never heard of a date of a crypto scheme on a dating app. Never. So maybe, you know, maybe women just have this way worse than than us guys. Um okay, let's move on to the next. Part 10. So, a lady asked Peter, "How do you get scammed on a dating app?" All right, well, this is more of a generic one. Really, really simple. They contact you, sweet talk you. They reply to you really fast, by the way, and you know, guys, that's a really big giveaway, I think. If they, like guys, if you think about it, right? If you're on a dating app, when do you, and if you, if you fancy somebody, so if you're a girl or a guy, whatever, and you go, oh God, he's really hot or she's really hot. And you match with them and let's say you send the first message. Like as a guy, you send the first message, the girl comes back to you, let's say, example, a few hours later. Now, what do us, most of us guys do? We wait. All right? We wait. We don't text her back within the first couple of minutes because why? We don't want to look desperate, okay? We all get that. And it's the same for women. You don't want to look desperate. Do you? You don't want to look desperate. So you give it a few hours and, you know, half an hour or whatever. But 
It's the guys, please watch out for this, guys. It's the guys and girls that text you back within, and I mean fucking three seconds, right? You even just sent your message. You can hear, you can see the bubble come up and they're, they're, they're writing already. You're like, whoa, okay, okay. Because I'll just say it one more time. If you think about it, if you do fancy somebody, no one wants to look desperate. So you don't do it. I tell you what, they're desperate to get your money. That's what's fucking to it. That's what's happening there. Okay, so let's move on. Part, <clears throat> excuse me, part 11. All right, where are we on this one? Uh, okay. Jeez, yeah, we're really getting through them, guys. This is very, very cool. I hope these keep coming. Hello, dear. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, dear God almighty. The world is fucking ending, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is not a good one, guys. Jesus. Even I've got this. When a lady goes, hello, dear. That word is gone. Like, who calls anyone dear anymore? I understand if you're an older couple in your 70s, 80s, fuck it, 90s. I don't think anybody calls anybody dear anymore, do they? I haven't heard that for a long, 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 long time. You know? Hello, dear. I <laughs> I, guys, I just wouldn't... Please, stay away from anybody that calls you hello, dear. Especially when you're on a dating app. Alright? If it's your husband or wife and you've been with each other for a long time, well then, you know, cool. Great. Great, but... No. Hello, dear is not good. Now, here we go. Part 12. This is from a lady, actually. She saw my hello, dear on social media. And she's saying when people call you hello, pretty. Now, unfortunately, I can't really speak skillfully on this one. This is just coming from a follower. And thank you, by the way, to the lady that, uh, that sent that one in. Hello, pretty. Probably kind of like the same as hello, dear. Even though I've been called hello, dear from a woman. Well, unless it was a man on the other end pretending to be a woman. But, uh... Hmm. Yeah. And then a lady says here in the messages, they say hello, pretty. And then proceed to say their child is sick. Okay, guys. Well, keep an eye on those ones. Let's move on. Part 13... This is unlucky for some. Hopefully we can have this lucky for all of us here and we don't get cut out. Uh, oh, let's part 13 is... Do -do -do, drum roll. They're sick and they're looking for money. Huh. Yeah. Like, they come with guilt on this one, guys. You know, they sucker you in first. They get you in, get you hooked. Like, they can't come straight out of, out of the gates with this one. If they're sick... Right? If they're sick, they have to get you in first. They can't just come out straight off the back end. Hi, my name is Peter. By the way, I'm really sick. Can you send me money? They know you're going to tell them, fuck off. It's not a hope. So they have to get you in the door first. So we've got, what else do we have? We've got the, yeah, here we go. The wife's sick. The daughter's sick. The wife dead. Uh, fucking NATO. Jesus Christ. Maybe people should report to Biden. Joe Biden. Let him know whatever. All the, uh, all, all those American soldiers are scammers. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Part 14. Hmm. Hangouts, the app. Yeah. Hangouts. Even though I actually looked this up the other day. And I didn't see it on... Uh, the the app store anymore. I've got an Apple phone. I didn't see it. So I think it's just as bad. Uh, Hangouts is Google Chat or Google Chat is Hangouts. But either way, guys, stay away from anybody that asks you to speak on Google Chat or Hangouts. All right, let's move on. And number 15. Um, okay. So number 15... The app Telegram. I've heard about this one, and and I actually now, in fairness, fairness, I do know a couple of people that use Telegram 
for legit reasons. I don't know why, but I do know these people are not scammers. 100 fucking percent. I've known them all my life. So, and I know that people do download it. But again, guys, stay away from anybody that asks you on a dating app to go to Telegram. All right, number 16. Okay, so we're gonna go the other way on this one. Um, now, some people, this is an interesting one actually, and this is coming straight from the horse's mouth. Some people think that there's a scammer out there and some of them will say they're not looking for anything serious and that's a scam. Now, that actually is a very interesting one and by the way guys, I'm here to give you some proof. I have said that on my, some of my dating profiles that I'm not looking for anything serious, just be upfront honest. Let's cut through the bullshit. All right, they know what I want, I know what they want, boom, job done. Okay, so believe me, I wasn't trying to scam them I was looking for a bit of fun. Yep, 100%, but not trying to scam them. So guys, please don't take that if a guy or girl says they're not looking for anything serious. It it 100% does not mean it's a scam. There could be somebody that is trying to pull it over your eyes, but if you think about this one, guys, you run more of a risk telling people that you're not looking for anything serious. Because as a guy, you know that girls are going to go, oh God, she's going to be turned off. Well, I mean, no, because she think I'm just a, a man whore or looking, just looking for a bit of fun or whatever the hell it is. Okay? You've, you know, they don't want to, and even if they're looking for fun, that the girl doesn't want to be meeting you because they're afraid that you judge them that they're a whore or whatever you want to call it. Right? So you run more risk saying that on an app. So... Take that into your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> but I can tell you now, guys, you run more risk. I, I don't think any scammers out there would be using that one. Okay, let's move on. Number... Did I miss... Did I skip one over? But I think we're on 17 here. Okay, part 17. This one isn't a scam either. Uh, okay. So... Some lady was asking me, now, some lady said that if somebody wants to share more photos, then that's a scam. Like, come on, really? I think a lot of us know out there, yes, yes, a lot of us know out there that, okay, even if it, you're a woman and you're looking at guys, the guy maybe look wants to send photos of perhaps his dick are he just wants to get you to send photos of him of him of yourself as a woman so things could get a little bit more dirty but i wouldn't be saying to you that that's a scam guys i think that's just a sex thing all right and hey if you are listening to this and you're proving me wrong on any of these parts guys numbers fucking please tell me and email me at peter at the peter com. Please tell me, because I want. Even if I am wrong, I want to make sure that everybody knows we can flush these fuckers out, the scammers, and make sure that they don't do this stuff. But I don't think if people want to want you to go to uh, WhatsApp or something to take the conversation further, I really think that's a sex thing. Now I've got a point, and I'm just going to finish off with that in a few seconds. But we'll go to number eighteen here. So part eighteen. Um, this might want to be obvious to a lot of people. Oh yeah, if they're, if you're on a dating app and guy or girl, and their back is to the camera, you can't see their front. Front. Well, why are you on the dating app? Seriously, why are you on the dating app? I don't get this one. I'm not going to go on with just my back to the fucking camera. That is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Seriously, you don't do that. Or, if a... Now actually, I have to say, women are more guilty of this one now than men. Is that a woman will pose in front of the camera, show her body, her boobs, her hair. But the phone is stuck in front of the camera. 
you can't see her face. Personally, I could be wrong on this one. I think it's a hooker if it's a woman. Or if it's a guy, he's got a girlfriend or a wife. Or maybe it's a combination of both for both genders. I just wouldn't trust any of them. I would stay the fuck away from them. And it, for, the, for the men out there, when women do this, you know, they've got beautiful chest, beautiful legs, beautiful hair. Everything looks great, but you can't see the face. What's that about? Seriously? Why bother take a photo in the first place? You know? So, guys, I'm going to close with this. Thanks for listening today. And I'm going to close with this. One thing about all the parts that we pointed out today, there is definitely one final thing that it's very important to cover about. If a man asks you to move on to, from the dating app that you're talking on, to WhatsApp. Now, what do I mean? I know that a lot of guys would be on a dating app and they might ask you, hey, what's your, what, what's your number we can chat on WhatsApp? Now, there's quite a few girls out there that will go, well, sure, I'm just talking to you on the dating app. What the fuck's the problem? Now, I actually, I actually do understand exactly where a woman's coming from on that one. Like, makes sense what you're saying, right? I totally understand. However, even though I know we talked about, well, hey, listen, why do I have to go to Google Chat? Why do I have to go to Hangout? Why aren't we just talking on Tinder or Bumble and keep the conversation here? And I was saying that for some of the points. Here's one thing we do have to consider, guys. I do know that there is quite a few guys out there. They prefer to take you to WhatsApp because it makes us feel that you want us. Okay? It's like being, imagine yourself in a nightclub and you're on the dance floor and a girl or guy meet and they have a bit of a tiny bit of a dance or whatever, right? Now, let's say it's a gorgeous girl, right? Gorgeous girl's going to have guys hanging off her anyway. So the guy doesn't want to feel that he's another number. So if he asks you, hey, do you want to go to the bar? Then all of a sudden it's you and him or you and her. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, hey, you know, this is progression, right? As in, Jesus, this girl might like me here. Let's see what happens. It's a kind of a feel like that, girls, out there. And you're probably wondering, hang on a second. He's going through all these fucking points. And then he comes out with this WhatsApp bullshit at the end. <laughs> Please understand, girls, that these scammers on the apps, they'll, they'll expose themselves very fucking fast. Okay, they're looking for money. They're gonna, you're gonna find them out fast. So, like, even if somebody asks you to go to WhatsApp and it turns out to be a scam, don't worry about it. You'll figure it out. Event, you're gonna figure it out really fast. They don't fuck around for long. They don't put in months and months and months and months of hard work with you. You know, they don't. In fact, what I do is I actually give the person some rope. In fact, if I think a girl's just looking for a bit of attention, I will keep texting her, right? And I'll text her about three or four times, and if she doesn't ask any questions back, I'm fucking done, okay? I'm done. Enough wasting my fucking time. Now, that's just what a man has to deal with sometimes, and does it work for me or not all the time? I don't know. But that's the way you can only try and filter through is this look girl just playing games, looking for a bit of attention. Because Jesus Christ, the guy can't make up all, I do all the effort all the time. So what I would say is keep going, ladies. Let him hang himself. If he's going to be looking for money off you, he's going to be coming for you. All right. And he's going to be the nicest, sweetest guy in the world. He'll probably text you back instantly. And like, you know, 24 hours a day, you text him any part of the day. He'll be texting you back instantly. You know? And hey, what's, what's the problem? Like, get him on a phone call on WhatsApp or Instagram, wherever you're talking to each other. Get a video call in. Get a video call in before you try and meet this person. That's what I'd say. And you know what? I'd even tell the person, you know, I'm sorry, John or Peter, but I've been scammed before, or I'm afraid of these scammers. I've heard all the horror stories. I've got to say, 
and you can turn it around them and say, hey, you know what? At least John or Peter, you'll know that I'm not a scammer. All right? It's a good, I think it's a good idea. Like if you're gonna meet in person, why not have a video call? Fuck it. That's if you're having problems. But girls, the, back to the point, is that this does happen for guys. We wanna feel like that we're not just another number. Now you can think we're fucking stupid, you can think this or that, whatever. Look, that's okay. But that's how a lot of us feel, right? And besides, we use WhatsApp a lot of the time anyway. Like, if I was to message somebody on my iPhone, guys, anybody iPhone users out there, do you remember we all used to use SMS message and you'd see, oh, delivered and then read? You're like, oh my God, it's amazing, right? And it was like, it was, it was incredible. Especially when it was delivered, because you're like, right, peace of mind, it's done. But then WhatsApp came along and blew it out of the water. When we did our two blue ticks. So like, there's a bit of an obsession with that too. And he might just, you know what? Not that he's paranoid or she's paranoid, but at least you know that they've read the message and you're, you're wanting to see what the fuck is going on with the other person. So, guys, I hope that helps. And, listen, if you've got any more scam stories, please send them in, guys. Honestly, please send them in. We're up to 18 already. Hopefully, we can keep going. And the word just gets out there and no one's going to get sca scammed anymore. Because, you know, I do believe in if, every, if people are a lot happier, it does reflect on everybody else around that person. Like, you know, you imagine it, guys. If you're in a, a good mood w one day and all of a sudden somebody has, the, has had the most horrific day out there because they've just got scammed or cheated on or whatever, you know, we all know that that person's around you and, and it rubs off on you eventually. You know, if you're around them all day, we're like, fuck. Then, then you're in a fucking bad mood leaving, going home that day. Or their, uh, their, their lack of trust with someone else couldn't rub off on you. So, you know... I think it's a, it's a, it's a good thing. It's it's addictive. Um, it's contagious. If we're good around each other and happy around each other, everybody else will be good and happy around each other. So I hope that helps, guys. Send them in anyway to Peter at thePeterWalshow.com or just drop a comment on my social media, the Peter Walsh Show. Look on social media: YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll speak to you again. Bye.